Zhan Ziyang is a port city in Guangdong province, on the island to the southeast. There is a steel jungle with an area equivalent to more than 1,700 standard football fields. There are all kinds of peculiarly shaped buildings. This is China's newest 10 million ton steel plant. The mined iron ore in this building magically becomes the indispensable steel in our lives. A series of innovative technologies are making steel smelting safer, smarter, and more efficient. This steel plant's granary store contains the two most important raw materials for smelting steel, iron ore and coal. Iron ore and coal are processed separately and put into the smelting furnace. It melts into molten iron at a high temperature of more than 2000 degrees Celsius and under further processing transforms into molten steel. After casting and rolling, it becomes the familiar steel. This steel plant consumes more than 30 million tons of coal, iron ore and other raw materials a year. Iron ore and coal pile up like a mountain. A raw material pile can weigh up to 40,000 tons, which is equivalent to the weight of 10,000 adult elephants. But for many years, one of the problems has plagued steel plants. That's how to accurately know how heavy the pile of coal and iron ore is. Every day, more than 80,000 tons of iron ore and coal are continuously transported to the steel plant. At the same time, the raw materials are continuously consumed in the process of smelting steel. If the inventory of raw materials is not accurately controlled, in most serious consequences, it may even cause production shutdown which leads to huge economic losses. How can we accurately know the specific weight of a coal mountain? In the past, we could only rely on manual measurements to be superimposed and measured. A mountain of 40,000 tons of coal will reach 4,000 tons at its maximum error. This will seriously affect production arrangements and even cause shutdowns. But for many years, most steel plants have used this time-consuming and labor-intensive manual method. This is the operation control room for the raw material yard of John Ziyang Iron and Steel Plant. The emergence of an innovative technology has solved the problems that have plagued the past. Now there is no need for workers to go to the plant floor. We just need to take care of our eyes while watching the screens. Over 10 large screens can monitor the situation of each raw material pile in real time. In the past, it was time-consuming and labor-intensive to count the raw materials. Sitting here and clicking the mouse can grasp the precise weight of each raw material pile in real time. And now the error can be controlled within 1%. How is this done? It turned out that there were secret weapons hidden in the warehouse. In the warehouse, a device called a laser scanner is hidden in this humble little square box. A laser scanner is a camera capable of taking stereoscopic photos. It emits laser light invisible to the naked eye. When light hits an object, it is reflected back. The distance between different positions on the surface of the object that the scanner can determine by absorbing and reflecting laser light and then automatically generate a three-dimensional model of the object by the computer software. Through the virtual three-dimensional model, the computer software can calculate the volume of each raw material pile in real time, thereby calculating their accurate weight. The engineers installed at least three laser scanners at different locations in each warehouse. This is like a pair of eyes constantly scanning this stockyard. 
All raw material piles are scanned separately into three-dimensional graphics on the screen. The computer can accurately calculate the inventory of raw materials in real time. How much is shipped, how much is consumed. Hence real-time changes in weight can be accurately grasped. The accuracy can be 99%. In the past, steel plants counted stockpiles of raw materials every 7 to 10 days. Two to six workers are required at a time. There will be errors in the measurement. Now, you can grasp the accurate data of raw materials in real time without manual measurement, which provides a guarantee for the smooth production of steel. Every year, tens of millions of tons of iron ore and coal go through hundreds of complex smelting processes to complete the journey from iron to steel. Iron smelting has also become an important basic industry for the development of a country. China is the world's number one exporter of steel products. How exactly is steel made, and what innovative technologies are applied to deal with steel smelting and become safer and smarter? Steel smelting has to go through more than 100 processes. It is one of the most complex industrial processes in the world. Put them together in a furnace of more than 2000 degrees Celsius for high temperature smelting to melt them into a golden liquid, which is molten iron. The molten iron is processed into molten steel in one step. The flaming molten steel undergoes multiple processes such as continuous casting and rolling to become steel bars and steel plates, etc. Different forms are applied to all products in our lives. The 113 meter of tower is equivalent to a 40-story tower, which is a landmark of the steel plant, called a blast furnace. After the iron ores are processed, they are melted into hot molten irons here. Right now is the core part of the blast furnace. The temperature in the heart of the furnace can reach up to 2400 degrees Celsius, which is close to half of the surface temperature of the sun. This is one of the most dangerous work scenes in the world. The iron ore is processed and smelted in a blast furnace for 18 hours and then melted into molten iron, and then the furnace door, commonly known as the iron opening, is opened to allow the hot molten iron to pour out and enter the next smelting process. The opening furnace door and stirring the molten iron to let them out are the most dangerous manual tasks. With the advent of automation, digitization, and intelligence, steel smelting has also ushered in unprecedented innovative technologies. The dangerous tapping process in some modern steel plants can already be completed by robotic arms instead of humans. The 6-meter long guy here in front of us is a mechanical arm with a tapping hole. You see it is slowly moving towards the tap hole. After the drill is aligned with the iron hole, it starts to rotate a little bit to advance into the iron hole. Spark splash. A few minutes later the rotating drill withdraws from the iron hole, and the mechanical arm starts to move back. The molten iron of more than 1500 degrees Celsius rushed out like a fire dragon. In less than 10 minutes, the machine opened the iron hole. There is no need for a worker or a single staff member on site. They can sit in an office tens of meters away and remotely command the actions of the robotic arm with the computer. This is the typical goal pursued by all steel plants to replace people with machinery and keep people away from danger.
Of course, for iron and steel smelting with hundreds of complex processes, the high-risk work is not limited to tapping. Next, these hot molten iron will be sent to the steelmaking workshop to continue smelting into steel. But the problem is that there is a distance over 1,000 meters between the blast furnace for smelting molten iron and the steelmaking workshop. It is extremely challenging to transport the molten iron to the steelmaking workshop. Why not let the two workshops be next to each other, but so far apart? Smelting steel is one of the most complex industrial processes in the world. Whether it is blast furnace smelting hot metal or continuing steelmaking, a series of auxiliary plants and equipment must be equipped around them to ensure normal production. Therefore, even if the two processes are connected, there is no way to have them be close by side and be separated by a wall only. How can molten iron of more than 1,500 degrees Celsius be transported to a steelmaking workshop in one kilometer away? What kind of transportation can withstand such high-temperature molten iron? It has to be a safest and most reliable weight though. The train in front of you is more than 40 meters long. The front of the train is pushing a huge tank with the bigger in the middle and narrow ends, in the middle like a giant torpedo, hence it is so called the torpedo tank car. It is a weapon used to transport high temperature molten iron. How can it withstand a high temperature of thousands of degrees without melting? The inner wall of the tank is covered with special refractory bricks weighing 346 tons, which can withstand the high temperature of 1790 degrees Celsius. What is this one you are carrying? This is a remote control. To transport molten iron, the driver does not operate in the cab like driving a car, but controls the locomotive through the remote control carried on the waist. The entire transportation process needs to be extremely stable and uniform. The maximum speed is only 10 km per hour. A series of complex processes such as the precise alignment of the tapping hole of the car not only completely liberates people from the dangerous working environment, but also improves the transportation efficiency. The yellow circle represents an empty torpedo tank, and this red circle represents a torpedo tank filled with molten iron, and this blue icon represents our locomotive. On the digital technologies applied for the molten iron transportation system platform, the staff can view the operating status of unmanned locomotives and tank cars in real time. The computer can also calculate the best driving route for each train and tanker and the most reasonable distribution plan for transportation tasks, and automatically send tasks to each train of unmanned locomotives to run them in an orderly manner, which is far safer and more effective. What other innovative technologies help steel production? Here, through hundreds of complicated smelting processes, the journey from iron to steel is completed. These hollow cylinders of different sizes and thicknesses are one of the final products of smelting steel, called These hollow cylinders of different sizes and thicknesses are one of the final products of smelting steel, called steel coils. These steel coils are sent to other parts of the world for further processing and then become cars, refrigerators, washing machines, etc. This plant can produce nearly 10 million tons of steel each year which is equivalent to the amount of steel used to build more than 200 of Beijing National Stadium, which is known as Bird's Nest. This is a dock of a steel plant. A huge ship with a length of about 100 meters and a dead weight of 4,000 tons is anchored in the port. Every day, nearly 4,000 tons of steel coils are shipped out from here and distributed all over the world. The wharf operates 24 hours a day, and the overhead crane moves back and forth on the track to hoist a steel coil into the huge wheel. 
将一个个钢卷吊到巨轮里。No staff or worker can be seen on this 24-hour uninterrupted terminal. The crane was not idle either, it was still hoisting. The hoisting operation is still in progress. And at this terminal, there is no driver needed for the crane that can run automatically. In fact, at the beginning of the operation of this terminal, the crane was operated by the driver. From August 2019, the crane operation can be controlled by the computer and no driver is needed. Now, this boom should have accurately positioned a steel coil. It should have measured a distance of it now, and tightened the small clamp arm. The metal clip in front of you can lift up to 35 tons of steel coils. Not only that, it seems to be able to accurately identify the width of the steel coil and adjust the tightness of the clamp. Look, it got up very easily. Let's see if it can find where to go, and how to get there. The jig crane rim moves to the top of the cabin. However, within two minutes, the steel coil was steadily placed in the cabin. No one controls them. Why are these cranes so smart? It turns out that although there is no driver control, the engineer has equipped the crane with sharper eyes. Three laser scanners were installed at different locations on the dock. An infrared sensor is installed on the fixture. The laser scanning infrared reflection allows the crane to know the position of each coil on the dock. In addition, each steel coil has its own unique ID card. By scanning the two-dimensional barcode, the computer finally obtains the name, model, weight, destination and other relevant information of the steel coil. So as to make the hoisting work of the entire terminal run automatically. Every year, nearly 10 million tons of steel are shipped from this steel plant and sent to all parts of the world. In the past, such a busy terminal required at least 11 staff per shift. Now only 5 people are needed to ensure normal operation. This relies on the innovation and upgrading of steel mill automation, digitization, and intelligence. As steel plants enter the era of automation and digital intelligence, a large number of high-risk labor-intensive jobs are gradually being replaced by machines. Using artificial intelligence big data calculations, computers can rationally arrange production more efficiently and energy-saving. With the help of 5G, many tasks even can be done remotely. Steel smelting is embarking on a new journey of smart manufacturing.